if you want to hear my first tampon story, plus some of my favorite tampon tips, keep watching. Hey guys, I'm Nicole Harlow and you are watching Girl Meets Body where I'm introducing you to your body one episode at a time. And today we're talking all about tampons. From my first experience with tampons to what I use now and some tips for you, especially if this is your first time using tampons. So I was a pretty late bloomer when it came to getting my period. I was like 15, kind of going on 16, which for a woman is pretty late. Um, I had had lots of friends who had gotten their period when they were like nine, 10, 12. And for years I was waiting for mine because I was actually one of those girls who was like really excited to get my period. I could not wait to be a woman. I've always been someone who was really interested in the female body and the menstrual cycle and the reproductive cycle. So I was always really curious and enthusiastic about learning anything that I could about the body. So it's no surprise to me that when I finally did get my period, I was pretty excited to try tampons. Now my first period, I did use pads. I just went to the store and I got a box of Always and I remember feeling like I had a diaper on or something. It was just like, so thick and so uncomfortable and it was such a weird sensation. I remember it was summer so it just felt like sweaty and wet and really uncomfortable. So I knew that when I got my next period I was going to want to try out tampons. Now little did I know it took a full six months before I got my next period which was my second period and by the time it came I had a box of tampons ready and waiting. Now by the time I got my second period it was like around mid to late 90s so we're going back in the day and and when I used my first tampon, it was a cardboard applicator. I'm not even sure if they make these anymore, but I would just say that cardboard applicators are pretty crappy. No one really told me what to do. No one said like, here, this is a tampon. This is how you put it in. I felt like I had no information. And you gotta remember, this is like the internet was just becoming a thing. So I couldn't even Google, there certainly wasn't YouTube, I couldn't watch any videos. And I don't have an older sister, so I didn't really have like that older sister to ask. So I just did like a DIY kind of job. I went into the bathroom, I unwrapped the tampon. I was pretty nervous, so I think I was completely clenched up with all of my like vaginal muscles. I tried to put it in with the cardboard applicator. I mean, these things were like massive. It was like a good like six inches or at least like four inches. And you'd put the cardboard applicator up and then you'd push and it was like two pieces of cardboard going against one another plus a piece of cardboard like inside of your vagina which is like was not fun at all there was nothing kind of like slidey or slippery about it so the first time I tried to put it in I like couldn't get it in I was like pushing on the bottom it was getting stuck I think I pressed and kind of pushed the trigger like too early and it was like half hanging out of my vagina so I kind of like pulled it out and was just like, okay, I'm gonna try this again. Eventually I did get it, but it took a while to like get the right kind of technique. And I have to say that since that time, tampons have definitely gotten better. And so it wasn't long until I made the switch from the cardboard applicators to the plastic applicators, and then eventually from plastic to no applicators. The brand that I used at the time, this was probably like in the kind of earlier 2000s, is a brand OB. You could still get OB, but I've since switched even from OB to all natural tampons, like this little guy. Now, something that I'm gonna talk about in another video is what I actually use for my period now in 2018, which is a menstrual cup that I love. I only keep tampons on hand just as a backup, and then I throw one in my bag just in case I get my period, and it's kind of like a surprise to me. The thing is my period isn't really a surprise to me anymore because I track my cycle and I use fertility awareness methods so I'm usually pretty clued in to where and when I'm going to get my period but in the past I was really irregular and I never knew when I was going to get it so it would always kind of shock and surprise me when I was out so I would usually keep a tampon in my bag. I like these ones because they're really tiny and they fit in your bag super easily. Although the plastic ones tend to be pretty small nowadays not compared to the like gargantuan cardboard ones that we used to use back in the day. Another reason why I love these natural tampons is because the cotton is unbleached. So a lot of the brands that you see out there that aren't natural, they could come from bleached cotton. And the thing is, I don't like the idea of putting chemicals anywhere in my body, let alone a really porous and absorbent place like the vaginal canal. Anything that you put in your vagina, whether that's a tampon, whether that's the spermicide on a condom, whether it's 
unnatural chemicals from a lubricant will be sucked in from the vaginal canal and distributed into the bloodstream. Now, what should you do if this is your first time with a tampon? So I have a couple tips for you. The first one is to figure out what's actually going on down there. So that may mean getting a mirror and looking down there. That was my mistake. Before I put a tampon in, I had no idea what was going on down there. I never really saw myself. I didn't even really know what the vaginal opening looked like. I was kind of sure where to put it, but I like wasn't 100% sure where to put it. So I think that step number one is really just having a look down there. If you have a handheld mirror, you can put it down there, angle it so when you look down, you're kind of looking up and seeing what's going on down there. I think that that's gonna give you a good baseline to know where the tampon is supposed to go. Then when you're ready to insert it, the first thing that you wanna do is find a position where you can open your legs pretty wide and get comfortable. For me, that's either kind of squatting down a little bit, bending my knees, or nowadays I tend to put a tampon in while I'm sitting in the toilet with my legs kind of spread so I have a little bit of space to get up in there. I also know some people who put one foot up on the toilet seat so you kind of can open your legs and bend your knees slightly which gives you more of like an opening. And because it's not just about position, the other thing that you need to do is relax. When we're not relaxed, we can really tense our bodies up, which makes us tense our vaginal muscles up too. And it's gonna be really hard to push a tampon through if your muscles aren't cooperating. So you're gonna hit like a brick wall <laughs> is what it's gonna feel like. So before you put it in, take a few deep breaths, relax your body, know that you're gonna be completely okay. And in the process, think about relaxing your vaginal muscles. This may be a completely new sensation for you. So just imagine that you were taking a pee and you needed to stop the flow of urine. You would kind of pull up on the muscles that are inside. So if you do that once, you can feel the muscles start to contract and release and just let it go. This will start to teach your muscles how to relax instead of being all tensed up. Now when you feel like you're nice and relaxed, I like to take the fingers of my left hand, so usually like these two fingers. I like to spread the lips apart so you have a little bit more room. Then with my right hand, this is opposite if you're left-handed, so I'm right-handed. With my right hand, imagine that this has the applicator on it. I'm gonna use these two fingers to hold it, and my pointer finger is gonna be the one that pushes on the applicator. So I'm spreading the lips. I'm putting this in with these fingers, kind of pushing it until the first part of the applicator is inside. So you only have the last part of the applicator out and then you're gonna push with your finger on the applicator. Then you pull the applicator out, throw it out, and then what I always do is I stick this pointer finger inside. You should be able to feel the bottom and the base of the tampon. You should also feel that the string is sticking outside of the body. I like to just give it a little more push just maybe a few more centimeters up into the vaginal canal. Now if you're using a natural tampon like this one, um, it's pretty much the same. I spread the lips with these two fingers. I hold on with these fingers of the right hand. I make sure that I push the tampon all the way inside. And then I use the pointer finger to push it up as far as the finger will go. So it's going quite far up into the canal and you should be able to still feel the strings that are hanging out. If it's riding too low, you'll feel it on your pelvic bone and it's gonna be pretty uncomfortable, so you may need to push it up further so it's closer to your cervix. And your cervix is that little knobby bit when you put your finger up inside and you feel, and it kind of feels like the tip of your nose. Now when you're ready to take it out, which should be in about six hours, you don't wanna leave a tampon in for too long. I like to keep mine in for six to eight hours if I'm on a light flow. If you're on a heavier flow, you may need to change it every few hours. If this is your first time with tampons or you're pretty new to tampons, you're not gonna need the super heavy or the super plus. You may just need something like this, which is just a regular or even a slim. So I would start off with a slim and a regular and see how long you can go with the tampon without getting any breakthrough bleeding, which is where you get some spotting on the tissue when you wipe yourself or when you get some spotting on your underwear. When you're ready to take it out, you can kind of do the reverse, either sit down on the toilet with your legs spread you can squat down or you can place one foot on the toilet seat, grab a hold of the string that you see. You have a string at the bottom. Bear it down as if you're about to take a poop and pull it out. It should slide out pretty easily, especially if it's full. You may find that you have a little bit trouble pulling it out if you have a lighter flow, especially in the beginning or the end of your period and the tampon isn't completely full. That's where you may need to bear down and push just a little bit 
to help pop it out of your vagina. Now, one thing that I wish I knew when I started using tampons is I wish that I knew that I had a tilted uterus. Scientifically, it's called a retroverted or a retroflex uterus. And it means that rather than tilting forward like most uteri do, mine actually tilts towards the back, towards my sacrum or my spine. Which means that when tampons or even menstrual cups or sometimes penises go inside, rather than going up, they go up and back. So I wish I knew this when I started putting tampons in. If you feel that when you put a tampon up, rather than going up at an angle, it goes up and then sharply back, it may be that you have a retroverted or a retroflexed uterus. This is completely safe and there's nothing wrong with you. It just means that tampons and menstrual cups may feel like they're in the wrong place sometimes. And it may also mean that sex might feel a little bit uncomfortable at different times of the month, depending on where your uterus is. What I notice as someone who has a retroflexed uterus is that I have to put a tampon pretty far up in my vagina to the part where it feels like it goes a little bit back it's not super far, you can still feel the string, but if you have a uterus like that, you can either choose not to use tampons at all or menstrual cups and just stick with pads or like I use, which is reusable pads, which I love and I have had for about 10 years. I'll talk about them more in another video. But if your uterus is tilted, you may find that tampons just don't work for you. You either leak through or you never get quite comfortable with them. So if you're somebody that whenever you've tried to use tampons in the past, you felt like, oh, never were comfortable, I always felt it, I was always kind of uncomfortable. Maybe the next time you go to the gynecologist, ask them whether your uterus is tilted backwards, retroflex or retroverted, and you may find that it is. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my first tampon story, as well as my favorite tampon tips. Once again, I'm Nicole Harlow, and you've been watching Girl Meets Body, where I am introducing you to your body one episode at a time. Now, make sure you subscribe and hit that button because I don't want you to miss anything. Thanks for joining me here today, and I can't wait to see you on the next video. Bye.